given problem is solve d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into y is equal to sin x plus x cube. Okay. Now we observe the order of the derivative is 3. So you can say this problem is belongs to higher order linear differential equation with two constant coefficients. Okay. Now it is in the form of f of d into y is equal to q of x. f of d into y is equal to q of x. Now the general solution for f of d into y is equal to q of x we have y of x is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. So now first we have to find out complementary function. To find a complementary function let y is equal to e to the power of mx be a solution of f of d into y is equal to 0. Then we will have auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0. So friends you see while finding the complementary function we are taking q of x as 0. So you will get f of d into y equal 0. To get the complementary function we are introducing y equal to e power mx. Then we will have f of m is equal to 0. Okay. Now what is f of m here? m cube minus 3m square plus 3 minus plus 3m minus 1 is equal to 0. So now we have to find out the roots for this third degree polynomial means cubic polynomial okay now by using the calculator we can do i know the roots but if you don't know you can uh, go for the calculator you can verify like one is a root or not also okay you can do in any method but i am explaining how to use the calculator in this case you see friends here you have a m cube so go for equation mode so press 5 now in the equation we have it is a cubic equation so ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d so plus 4 button now here we have to give the coefficients of m cube value that is 1 next m square value m square coefficient is minus 3 next m coefficient is 3 and the constant you have minus 1 now you press is equal to button you see we are getting x is equal to 1 again if you press it then it is not showing nothing but x is repeated three times x is repeated how many times means based on the degree so here m is equal to one repeated three times because it is a cubic polynomial so m is equal to one comma one comma one friends you observe here the roots are real and repeated roots are real and repeated case whenever the roots are like a a a roots are real and repeated then we have the complementary function is equal to c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square. We need to write like a polynomial expression up to uh, 3 arbitrary constants okay, into e to the power of ax. If a is repeated then we are writing e to the power of ax. Now in this case which is repeated here? 1 is repeated. So our complementary function is c1 plus c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square into e to the power of 1 into x so this is the complementary function now we have to find out the particular integral right to find the particular integral for f of d into y is equal to q of x we have 1 by f of d into q of x okay this is equal to 1 by what is f of d actually d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into q of x q of x is here we have sum of the two terms that is sin x plus x cube you observe this is a sine function and a right side you have a x cube so whenever uh, whenever q of x is a, either sine or x cube sine cosine e power x form and x power m form we can go for the shortcut method yes or no? so now you divide these two means separate these two then here you will have 1 by d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into sin x plus 1 by 3 uh, 1 by this is d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into x cube friends you know that uh, whenever sine function is there in q of x then uh, we are replacing uh, d square by minus a square whenever sin ax is there we are replacing d square by minus a square but here in place of a what i have ax is equal to x only so a is equal to 1 so we have to replace minus 1 in this case next you see i am doing first uh, this part later i will do the second part and then i will add the total particular integral so this is i am considering as a pi1 now 1 by in place of this is uh, in place of d square minus 1 i have to substitute but here i have d cube 
dq I can consider as a d into d square. Yes or no? So, this is minus 1 into d means minus d. Next, minus 3 times of d square is nothing but minus 1 plus 3d minus 1 into sin x. Now, if you are simplified, then we will have 1 by 1 divided by, you see, this is a 3d minus d, nothing but 2d. Next, this is minus, uh, this is plus 3, minus 1, nothing but plus 2 into sin x. So, P i 1 you have 1 by 2 d plus 2 sin x. So, you can take here 2 is a common. Then we will have 1 by 2 times of d plus 1 into sin x. Friends, you remember whenever sin or cosine is there, f of d should contain d square term. If d square term is not there, then uh, suppose 1 by d is there, then you can do integration directly. If it is d is in the numerator, then you can do differentiation directly. But whenever uh, uh, d square is there, then we are replacing with uh, minus a square. Yes or no? But whenever d plus a form is there, then rationalize with d minus a. Okay? Now, here you have d plus 1. So, we have to rationalize with uh, d minus 1. So, d minus 1 by d plus 1 into d minus 1 into sin x. Okay? Now, 1 by 2 times of d minus 1 times of, this is a plus b into a minus b. So, a square minus b square. Nothing but d square minus 1 square is 1 into sin x. Now, again, uh, d square is there in the denominator. So, we have to substitute d square is equal to minus a square. That is minus 1. Because in place of sin a x, we have sin x. So, a x is equal to x. So, a is equal to 1. That is That implies d square is equal, d square is equal to minus 1. Now, d minus 1 by d square is equal to minus 1 if I substituted minus 1 minus 1 into sin x. Okay. Now, this is you have minus 2 and uh, outside you have a 2. So, minus 1 by 2 times of 2 is nothing but 4 into d minus 1 into sin x. Now, minus 1 by 4 times of I told you if d is in the denominator, then you can differentiate directly. So, derivative of sin x is cos x minus 1 into sin x means sin x. So, this is a uh, particular integral 1. This is the particular integral 1. Now, we have to do particular integral 2. I am writing the particular integral 2. We have 1 by d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into x to the power of 3. You have. Okay. Now, you observe this q of x is containing polynomial like it is in the form of x to the power of m. Whenever the uh, shortcut method you can apply whenever you have x to the power of m and m being a positive integer. Yes, is it like m being a positive integer and x power m form or not? Yes, in this case, f of d whenever x to the power of m form is there, then we can apply shortcut method. In the shortcut method, we have to convert this f of d into 1 plus or minus pi of d form because we can apply binomial, exp binomial expansion. Okay, now you see. For that, we have to take the lowest degree term as a common. So, here you have a minus 1. You can take minus 1 is common. Otherwise, we are already done. The roots of this uh, differential equation, is the roots of uh, this polynomial is what actually? D is equal to 1 we are getting. Yes or no? So, how many times? 3 times. So, this one you can write as D minus 1 whole cube into X cube you can write. D minus 1 whole cube into X cube also you can write. But, binomial expansion we can apply for 1 plus x whole to the power of minus n only. So, here you can take minus 1 is a common, then you will have minus 1 by 1 minus d into 1 minus d whole cube into x cube. So, this one you can write as minus of 1 minus d whole inverse into x cube. Now, you observe this is in the form of uh, 1 minus d whole power minus 3. This is whole power minus 3. Now, this is in the form of 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 3. So, what is the binomial expansion for 1 minus x whole power minus 3 we have? That is, you see, 1 minus 3x. Minus is there, so 1 plus 3x plus 6x square plus 10x cube and so on we have. Right? Now, this expansion is up to infinite, but here, how much... Uh, you can take power x power means based on the given q of x you see here they are given q of x is equal to d cube so derivative of x cube is equal to 3x square what is the d square of x cube here 6x next d cube of x cube is equal to 6 next if you are differentiated 
that is d power 4 x cube you are getting 0 for every higher order derivative you are getting 0 in this case so maximum you can differentiate the index of 3 only so d cube pol d cube term is enough higher terms you no need to take now you see this one minus half now you split this one in place of x what i have d so 1 plus 3d plus 6d squared plus 10d cube do you require the d power 4 term d power 5 d power 6 higher order terms no need so close the bracket so in here you have plus so on but here up to this only into x cube now you multiply inside uh, x cube then minus of 1 into x cube is x cube minus 3 into derivative of x cube is what you have 3x square so 3 times of 3 is 9x square this is 6 into d square what is the d square value here you have d square is equal to d square x cube is equal to 6x so this is 6 times of 6 is nothing but 36x plus 10d cube plus d cube of x cube is what here 6 so 60 you are getting so this is the particular integral 2 previously we have particular integral 1 is minus 1 by 4 times of cos x minus sin x hence friends this is plus sorry okay now the particular integral finally we will let pi1 plus pi2 hence the general solution is y of x is equal to complementary function plus particular integral yes or no particular integral is pi1 plus pi2 now the general solution is y of x is equal to we have previously 1 comma 1 comma 1 are the roots so c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square into e to the power of 1 into x plus particular integral 1 is minus 1 by 4 times of this is a plus i have written so this is minus 1 by 4 times of cos x minus sin x next pi2 is here you have pi2 is minus of x cube plus 9 x square plus 36 x plus 60 okay this is the final solution is it clear for everyone right thank you for watching this video